In this video, I'm going to be taking you through how to create and enable structured exception handling overwrite protection in a Microsoft Windows operating system. And to do that, we go to the Start menu and we type in RegEdit. Now it's important that you right-click Registry Editor and run as an administrator. There we go. Now that we have the Windows Registry Editor open, it's very important that you back up your Windows Registry prior to making any system-wide changes, as this will help in the recovery if there is ever a problem. And to do that, quite simply click on File and click Export. You can type in any name that you want for your registry backup. And click Save. Now we're going to begin by going to each key Local Machine. And when that's expanded, we're going to go down to System, and then a Current Control Set, and then we're going to go to Control, and we're going to find Session Manager. Then we're going to go down to Kernel. And if you don't see Disable Exception Chain Validation in this list, then we're going to have to create it. And as I don't have one in my list either, I'm going to create that right now. So we're going to do that by right-clicking Kernel and going to New, DWORD Value. And DWORD Value is Disable, and you have to be case sensitive when typing these in. Exception chain validation and press enter then you're going to double click and you're going to make sure that the value data is set to zero if you set it to one the that will disable the exception chain validation if you set it to zero it is enabled and there we go and now, our Structured Exception Handling Overwrite Protection is enabled in our Windows Operating System. Now, Structured Overwrite Exception Handling provides you with another layer of protection for your applications. And it provides uh, protection of your applications from startup of Windows Operating System. If you have any questions or comments about my videos, please feel free to share them in the bar below or visit us at www.clearconfig.net. Thanks for watching.